guys, Shelby here with George Moore Chevrolet, and today I'm here with Bobby at Hello. Max Cafe. Um, thanks for letting us come hang out for the day. Appreciate you guys coming out. Yeah, yeah. of course. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about your menu and what you guys have um, here right mm -hmm. in downtown Jacksonville. Yes, ma'am. So we took over the Magnificat Cafe, was the old owners, okay. and so we kind of took their concept, which is French-American cuisine, okay. and we just kind of made it our own. We changed a lot of the ingredients. And nice. Okay, so tell us about like how you guys got started, how long you've, um, I guess, you know, you and your daddy, always business partners, yes. all that kind of stuff. So we have both been in restaurants for pretty much our entire adult lives, and so we have been kind of bouncing around between job and job, and after COVID started, we had an opportunity to get this place, so we decided to go into business together and just kind of oh, make it our own. That's and awesome. It really so is. It's like, like a good partnership. Absolutely, it really yeah. is. Okay, and are you guys from Jacksonville? Or? Yes, I'm from Jacksonville originally. He's from Indiana. And, oh, wow, yeah. okay. So mm -hmm. how did he get down here to... Um, he's actually my stepfather. And so oh, okay. me and my mom are from here, and just ironically, his name is Bobby as well. <laughs> but Yeah, that's funny. That's so funny. he came here for work about 20-something years ago, and okay. then my parents met a little bit after that. And, yep. Yeah, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And um, why don't you tell us a little bit about um, you know, what your hours are, how people can find you, so we have multiple locations, or just one? We are planning on opening up another location very soon, actually. And we're making a bar upstairs. We're going to turn into a little yeah, speakeasy nice. kind of thing. It's going to be a lot of fun in this area. It really is. Absolutely. But, so we're open from 8.30 until 3. We start serving breakfast at 8.30. Okay. And then we close at 3 o'clock every day. So for the speakeasy, um, what's kind of the plan for that? Are you going to have cocktails and... Absolutely. So, like a full bar or? right now we only have our beer and wine license. We're working on acquiring a liquor license. There's a surprisingly limited amount of them in Jacksonville. Like it's, I didn't realize it was that difficult of a process to get a liquor yeah. license. I really did. But yeah. so we already had the upstairs area. We, uh, my wife is a musician actually, and she's uh, like pretty in with the local jazz scene around here. Okay. So we're gonna have a bunch of live music and everything like that. And awesome. So definitely okay. gonna be a full bar at some point in time. So mm -hmm. when can we look forward to that being open? Because I know so many people will want to check that out. Trajectory about six months. Awesome. Is, we already got yeah. the, some of the work going upstairs. Right That's now, a though. quick turnaround, obviously, mm -hmm. especially considering downtown is so finicky with the restaurants and the it's, way it is like to open up everything. It really is. Tell us a little bit more like about you. Like, what do you like to do when you're not at the restaurant? What do you do for fun? So, I actually just had a daughter about six months ago, awesome. and so uh, congratulations. my life is pretty much consumed with working here about 65 hours a week than wow. going home and being dad, because my wife always has gigs at night, because she's yeah. a musician. And, That's but crazy. Our most popular item is definitely the black chicken provolone. It's our house-made chipotle mayonnaise with lettuce and tomato and our freshly blackened chicken on some toasted sourdough bread. The cranberry turkey burrito. It's the same thing as toasted sourdough with our house-made pesto mayonnaise on it, and it's got fresh cranberries, and as well as um, turkey with brie I'm melted on there. And, that's by far my favorite item out of the group, but we also serve many quiches. Like it's a different quiche every day, but we always have the Lorraine and the spinach mushroom. We house make all of our soups and every single sauce and item we have is entirely made in house. Wow. And okay. So you have a really great culinary background then. Yes, ma'am. What was your experiences like before here? With so culinary? I've mostly been in restaurant management for the past about 10 years. And before I was actually a manager at Burrito Gallery, the one in Riverside. Oh, nice. and okay. Then the COVID thing happened, then we decided to open this up. So I just kind of nice. moved on from that. And I like it. Nope. Yeah. It's a cool setup. Definitely a big change from burritos to like yeah. kind of French country vibe. Exactly. If you guys share this post, we will purchase a gift card and uh, you can actually be entered in for a chance to win a gift card to Max Cafe right here downtown in downtown Jacksonville. Wonderful. And we are on um, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. It's Max Cafe on all of them. 